Now the key here to hunting, son, is to scope out that solid deal and pounce. What are we looking for exactly? Ideally, we'd be looking for a buck. Are those the ones with the big antlers? Oh, shut up, you quiet now. Don't tell me you don't see that right Where? there. Oh, now, that's a Series S right there, son. I think I see it. It's a buck 50, but it'll do. Go ahead, take your shot. I'm scared though. What are you doing? Take your shot, now. Go, shoot. Okay. Hey man, what's up? Do you have any issues with it at all? No, I was just getting rid of it. Well, so the story is, we ran over by a car here. See, so you need some cash. And you're yeah. ready to get out of here. Yeah, yeah so of course. Two controllers. Two controllers. Yeah, they don't give enough storage on that at all. Yeah, One man. terabyte, download GTA 5, and that's it. Solid deal for 150 bucks. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Course, man. Thank you. Successful hunt of an Xbox Series S. You guys know what I do with these things. I pop them up on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, offer up, and I try to trade them all for more video games and systems. Yes, look at how nasty that yes, is. Man. Come on, my man. So this baby's gonna need a nice little clean. I'm just happy it doesn't smell like smoke. Buck 50 for the lot, solid. We got the Seagate Xbox, two terabyte external hard drive. I know these babies push anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks, so this baby being added on is solid. And two controllers, one white and one green, so that's definitely a bonus. I got two of these up for trade hey, right- what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Hit that like button. All right. Anyways, two of these up for trade right now, and I'm getting a lot of questionable offers, but the key to the trade game right here is persisting and patience. That good deal will come. Popped into a Goodwill real quick and immediately hopped over to the glass counter and check out these gems I found. Spent a total of $46. I think I got about 12 games in here. The first game that I saw in this glass case was Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U. Now this game pushes around 30 bucks and I'm trying to build up my Wii U collection. I'm currently sitting pretty low on that one right there. Uh, this is kind of American huh? version. Zointein eine Deutsche. Still kind of cool if you're looking to complete the Wii U collection. I'll take anything I can get these days. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2. Now this one surprised me with the worth. I think it pushes 30 bucks. Now this stack right here cost 30 bucks. I thought it was a bit of a wild card purchase, but I saw that Tales of Exilia 2 goes for around 30 bucks itself. So I thought this would be actually a pretty cool gamble to go through and see if we have a jackpot in here. So after a quick look up, these games are not gonna be worth too much money right here. Is that the Green Goblin? But I thought these were some unique titles right here. We got Tales of Exilia 1 and 2, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, Record of Agarist War 2. Check out this game right here, AR No Surge. This game pushes 50 bucks. Gotta thank Goodwill for that one. Unfortunately, it's not complete. Complete. Disc is in nice shape though. Goodwill coming through today with a $46 fine. Can't get Wii U games anywhere. Let's head to the next. Guys, we scored one. It has been drier than the Sahara Desert out here, I tell you what. But luckily I hopped on Facebook Marketplace and finally found a deal. Guy had listed a Nintendo 64 with around five or six games. Two minutes ago, I messaged him. If you see something you like on Facebook Marketplace, immediately message the people, hey, is this still available? Then go ahead and look at the photos. When someone posts something video game related, I always go ahead and check out their commerce profile to see if they're posting more. More often than not, I actually see people that are posting video games and stuff. They're kind of clearing out their whole collection and separating those into different lists. I also saw that he posted up a Sega Game Gear for around 50 bucks. So I asked him, hey, what else are you selling video game related? He sent me a bunch of pictures. He actually has quite a bit of stuff. I said, how much for the lot? Don't even ask questions. Buy the lot all the way through. Ask questions later. In this scenario, you want to get that type of deal secured. I looked it over and my initial offer was going to be 150 bucks. He tossed back 160, baby. So I gladly accepted and that's where we're headed now. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Got the games. Hey. <laughs> How come you left the dog out? Good. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Is he good? Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right, you man. Good? I appreciate it. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. What the heck is that? Are you kidding me? Why didn't they say the box came with? Like, what? Uh, that's a complete box N64, and there's a couple of com there's a couple complete box games in there. Guys, this is the second time this has happened to me. The box is oddly minty. My head hurts because my eyes are about to pop out of their sockets. I need to run back home real quick because I need to put on a new pair of pants. Bingo bongo, 160 bucks. Let's head back home now. Y'all know I'm excited. Let's see what's in this baby. <laughs> Shaka laka bonga gonga. Huh? Look at 
this, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this PS1 that was included. Comes with one controller. The highlight games here are Metal Gear Solid, both discs included, and I'm not gonna lie right here. I was actually kind of thinking of another retro game to play, and my brother played Metal Gear Solid when he was younger, and I really liked it, and I think it was on the PS1. Comment down below if Metal Gear Solid is a hitter of a game to play on the PS1. I feel like it is the classic way to play it. Let me know, excited to see that in this bundle. Eight complete in box Sega games. If you looked at that photo earlier, this was not supposed to come with the boxes. Road Rash 2 complete in box, Road Rash the first one, Fantasia, Disney's Aladdin, Pac-Mania, NHL 95, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 right here, Dick Tracy actually kind of surprised me. Unfortunately, it is game only, no manual, and a not for resale Sonic the Hedgehog. Now the not for resales you would expect to be a little bit more value, but I believe they are the standard price. We got the system right here and three controllers, one is OEM, two are aftermarket. Now this one kind of surprised me a little bit. This is a Sega Game Gear with the case. Here's the system right here some major scratches on the top screen. I will actually go ahead and clean that up. And look at this little bonus right here, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. In fact, let's clean it up and test it right now. Six batteries, really? Power on. Oh yeah, baby, we got light. Do we got sound? Wait for it. Always with the speakers on these babies, they're distorted, but hey, it works. Screen's not in too bad condition, as you can see right there, some scratches and a little bit of dust in between. And check this out, that's also included. You got the expansion battery pack. You pair that with that, you actually got a good deal. Plus you got the Sega Game Gear case. OEM N64 controllers, we got a gray one and a red one. Joysticks look nice and tight. We got Twisted Edge complete in box for the N64. The box is actually in really good shape, and I didn't think he was throwing in any boxes. I was ecstatic seeing a lot of these complete box games you know that's a bonus you can't live without now rainbow six right here actually does push over 30 bucks for this one it is no manual though i am totally still cool with considering i thought it was just the cartridge three loose cartridges right here we have rush 2 extreme racing usa star fox 64 which is a solid title and of course we got diddy kong racing which is the best game in the lot in my opinion and finally we have the nintendo 64 complete box i'm sorry it is a bit dusty for it's showing let's go ahead and clean that up drop that stuff oh yeah yeah, yeah, baby, look at how mint this baby is. Look at the corners on this thing. We got a security tag intact. Have y'all seen any N64 box this clean, let alone a free add-on when we went ahead and picked this baby up? Beautiful box, let's turn this baby around. If y'all have seen a better condition N64, let me know down in the comments, cause brother, we got something good here. November 30th, 1997, that is awesome. Awesome. I'm just living the dream. But I know what y'all are asking right now. You're asking if the styrofoam is intact. Let's crack it open and check it out. And there she is. He tossed in the blue controller inside the box, although it comes with the gray. I will replace that. No AV cable in here, but it is back there in a the lot of cords. This baby needs a nice little clean. Oh my. Beautiful condition, N64 right here. For some reason, I like it when the jumper pack hasn't been removed. It looks a little bit more original in the original packaging right here. Styrofoam is intact. This one is actually in beautiful shape. I am just blown away by how mint condition this box is. What else can you do besides keep this in You your already have one though. I have a different one, if that's what uh -huh. you're implying. Look the same to me. First of all, they're completely different boxes. They're not at all the same thing. No, you wouldn't know. You ain't even got the room in here for one. <laughs> ain't got the room. You need to leave the room, sir. Coming in here acting like he knows Whatever, video games. Dude, I'm seeing two on, N64s man. in a box. Two different boxes. How do you whoa, not get whoa, that? Hey, hey. How do this? This guy don't get it. For real though, collection worthy, I'd say definitely. Very happy with the purchase. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.